In this video, you're going to learn how you can make a CD automatically play and then have a menu on it so that people can click on these little items on the menu and make it do whatever it is you want them to do. This is good if you're distributing digital products or something on eBay and you're going to burn them onto CD and send them out. This makes it easier for the recipient to start up your program. Uh, first thing you need to do is go to the CD starter program and you can see the link at the bottom of the video here or you can get it out of the resources document. Okay, so once you get to this page, just come down to the download link, click here and download and unzip the program. Now once you've done that, you can open up the folder and this is what you see and in here there's an example. If we click on this tell us welcome click OK and then it brings up the example menu so when we click on these things it does what it says it's going to do view configuration file see the VARs okay this one doesn't quite work on here explore this folder it shows us what's in this folder explore your system drive and it brings up my computer say hello etc. So congratulations, plays a sound, etc. So this is an example of what it can do. Now let's go through and make our own example CD product. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it play different videos. I'm going to load out three different videos and make it play it. So the first thing I need to do is create a folder that's empty and then put everything in it I want it to play. So I've created this folder called Play Videos, and in here I'm going to place the videos I want it to play. Now there's many other things I could do with this, but this is what I choose. You can have it open up any file you want or play any sound. Okay, so I've transferred four videos in here, and these videos are on server transfers. In other words, transferring from one server to the other. This is one of our video series. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back here, and we're going to open up the CD starter config and here's what you get. You get a little box and this is where you do all your designs. So first we're going to give it a title. Now here you can give it an intro message where a box will come up where they can click yes or no if you want them to and if you require them to click yes then you put yes here if not then you don't have to do it. That way you can just put the message here. So let's uh, say server transfer videos, do you wish to continue? And then require yes click, we're going to say yes. Here we can give them a welcome message. Welcome to the server transfer video series. We wanted to play a sound when they opened up the application. We could just browse for it here and load it up and it will play. And then we can set the font here if we want to use different font than the default. Okay, the next thing we go to is general and we can set some things in here if we want to or you can just pick the defaults. Now you can put a splashed bitmap on the front. If you have a bitmap image that you want underneath the splash screen you can put it here. And then you can have the delay for the splash here and set the borders if you're going to use that. So that was that for and I'm not going to use that. Here we can set the background color if we want, and I'm just going to leave the default again. And here is where we have our buttons. So what we need to do is click on buttons and insert. And then the title is going to be play video one. And then the file, we got to scan for the file where our videos are. Okay, here we are. So if it click video one. And if we wanted an icon, we pick it here. Now I downloaded some free icons off of the internet, and you can just do a free icon search in Google, and you'll find some. So I'm going to load my icons into the same folder. So I'll just paste that in here. Okay, so I called it forward. That's my forward icon. So we'll pick that here. There we go. Okay, so button one is done. 
And if we want to close on click yes or no. Okay, then we go to buttons. We'll do an insert and we'll insert another one. So we do play video two. Same deal again, we find the file, find the icon, pick it, click OK, click OK again, and then we do buttons, insert, do the same thing with video 3 and video 4. Okay, so I went ahead and finished that. Now we can click on order and video one, two, three, four. If we wanted to switch these around, we could just pick them and move them up and down. So we're okay with that. Okay, now all that's left to do is click okay, and then where we're gonna save it, which is in our main file. I'll close this up. We open up our play videos, and you'll see in here that we have cdstarter.ini, and that is what we have to move over to the CD to get it to play properly. Now to test it, we can just bring in the CD starter software here. We just bring in the CD starter.exe, just copy it and paste it in here. Now if we click on it, Server transfer videos, do you wish to continue? That was our message that we put, yes or no. So they got to click yes. Welcome to the server transfer video series was our welcome message. Play video one, play video two, play video three, play video four. If we click on, click on play video one, it brings up real player or whatever plays their videos and it will start to play. Same with video two. video three and video four. Okay, so now that we've tested that it works, what we have to do is come back in here and we'll open it. And we'll open this back up. Now what we have to do is go into file and prepare directory for CD burning. Now we can give it an icon if we want for the startup process. And I'm not going to bother there. And then it's done it for us. So if we look here, we'll see that we now have auto run.inf. This will cause it to auto run. So now all we have to do is burn the whole works over to a CD. And when we plug in a CD, it will do this auto run thing here. And if we just want to look at what it looks like, if we do an open with, and we'll just open it with notepad. And then it says open CD starter dot XE sas C CD starter slash INI. So that's all there is to it. It that's what's in the file. You don't have to worry about it because it's created for you. So now we just burn all this over to a CD. When they plug the CD in, it will actually run the CD starter part, which starts the whole process that you created. And that is how you can create your own auto running CD for your applications.